This is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the Plural Site Author. Before I continue with the video, a small information. If you are new for .NET and a Plural Site subscriber and wanted to learn ADO.NET in detail with examples, then please watch my course ADO.NET by Examples at Plural Site for better understanding of ADO.NET. One of the key features introduced in C Sharp 7 is the power of pattern matching. It is a concept which is widely used in most of the functional programming languages like F Sharp. Pattern matching helps us in reducing the code and also helps us in improvising the performance of the application. Now let us understand why we need pattern matching concept. Most of the time as a developers we work with the object types. It would be a lot easier for us to use a strongly typed interfaces and classes. But however, this is not always the case and also with the interface and classes. Sometimes you need to check for different interface or derived types to invoke other class members. Here pattern matching can be used. In C Sharp 7, there is is operator and the switch statement have been enhanced with the const pattern and the type pattern and the var pattern. Now let us understand this concept in detail using the code. First let me add a class and provide a meaningful name for this class as pattern matching demo and let me click on the add button. Now to understand the concept of pattern matching let me define a class with the name employee and let me define some property members as public int employee number, public string a name and public decimal salary. Now let me add one more class manager which inherits the employee class and this manager class need to have one more additional property that is the department name for which he is a manager. So let me type in class manager inherits employee. As I said we need the department property let me type in public string department now along with the manager class I would like to have salesman class where we know that whether a manager or a salesman they are employees of an organization so I would like to define this class by inheriting the employee class and we know that salesman usually gets the commission so I would like to define a property for maintaining the commission for the salesman. So let me type in class salesman inherits employee and we need commission. So let me type in public decimal commission. Now we have three classes. One is the base class employee and the other two are derived classes manager and salesman. Now let me add an entry point within the pattern matching demo class. Now let me create an object for the manager class. So let me type in manager m equal to new manager of employee number equal to 101 comma e name equal to shaker salary equal to 10,000 department equal to training. And also let me define one more object for the class salesman. So let me type in salesman s yes equal to new salesman of employee number equal to 102, e name equal to Srinivasan, salary equal to 1000, commission equal to 3000. Now I would like to display the details of both the manager and the salesman. For that I would like to define a method which accepts the manager and salesman object as its parameter and display the employee details. So let me type in show employee details of M and show employee details of S. We can observe an error because we have not defined this method yet. So let us define the method now. So let me type in public static void show employee details of employee EMP. 
since the employee number e name and salary properties are inherited from the class employee let me display those values console dot right line of dollar employee number emp dot employee number e employee name emp dot e name salary emp dot salary now based on the employee type we need to display either the department name or the commission if we are working with prior versions of c sharp let us observe the way we used to write the code prior to c sharp 7 now let me type in if emp is manager where manager equal to manager emp console dot right line of dollar department manager dot department or else we can also use the as keyword while typecasting so let me type in where salesman equal to emp as salesman as there is a possibility of null we usually need to verify if the object is null or not so let me type in if salesman not equal to null then we need to display the commission so let me type in console dot right line of dollar commission plus salesman dot commission now finally let me add a line separator for beautification so let me type in console dot right line and let me type in some character separator now let me save this file and set this class as the startup object and let me execute we can observe the details of the manager and also the salesman now let us rewrite the show employee details method using c sharp 7 pattern matching coding style now let me first comment the previous style code and let me type in if of emp is manager manager console dot right line of dollar department plus manager dot department and similarly let us write the code for salesman also so let me type in if of emp is salesman salesman console dot right line of dollar commission plus salesman dot commission now if you observe the code it is very simple easy to use and less coding now let me save this file and execute the application we can observe the same result one important point we need to remember is that from c sharp 7 onwards pattern matching is supported within the switch case and also we can set some conditions while using the pattern matching in switch case to understand let me add one more object for salesman so within the main method let me type in salesman s1 equal to new salesman of employee number equal to 103 comma e name equal to srinivas salary equal to 3000 commission equal to 1000 and let me show this employee details also so let me type in show employee details of s1 now let me move back to our show employee details method and let me comment the previous code so that we can use pattern matching with respect to, to the switch case now let me type in switch of emp case manager manager console dot right line of department manager dot department break similarly for the salesman we can type in as case salesman salesman colon console dot right line of commission plus salesman dot commission break now say that i would like to add a switch case with a condition where i would like to display the employee as top salesman if the commission is greater than the salary of the employee now one important point we need to remember is if we write that switch case below the case salesman then the cursor will never reach to the switch expression so we need to remember that if any switch case is defined with the conditions make sure that we define them above the parent expression so let me type in case salesman 
top salesman win of top salesman dot commission greater than top salesman dot salary console dot right line of commission colon plus top salesman dot commission console dot right line of top salesman break now let me save this file and once again let me execute the application we can observe how simple and efficient for referencing the derived class objects with the support of pattern matching in C sharp 7. Pattern matching as it is implemented in C sharp 7 is just a begin for this feature. Sub patterns, property patterns, positional patterns and recursive patterns might be added in the future C sharp version. Hope you will enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy in producing. If you like this video, please give a like, share or comment and do subscribe my channel. This encourages me to produce more videos. Thank you all. Happy programming.